we are in the middle of building a lifted or monster truck go-kart using a truck body and the $50 go-kart chassis uh, with a trailing arm rear suspension that we custom fabricated and the front suspension from our kids ATV. Uh, we're going to be kind of hacking this up to rob the front suspension from the ATV because the, uh, well, we, we, the frame is in such bad shape. It's broken in several places and rusted. Yeah. It's yeah, bad. It's it's not good. Yeah, it's really only worth the, the front suspension, so we're going to be robbing it for this project. You guys have been requesting this build for years, and we were kind of hesitant because the center of gravity is going to be so high, it's going to be really easy to flip this thing. Um, so we're doing all kinds of gear reduction to make the top speed around 15 miles an hour we want. So last time we fabricated trailing arms and we got the rear suspension mostly set up, but now we need to kind of connect the trailing arms together and then add our single or dual coilover suspension. So Ike is trying to tighten down these locking collars for the pillow blocks on the trailing arms, having a little bit of problems. But uh, we decided to move the trailing arms inboard just because it looks better. Uh, out, outboard would be more stable, would be safer, but we're only looking at like 15 miles an hour with this project anyway, or that's the goal anyway. So before we install our coilovers here, we are going to cross brace the trailing arms here to keep them from moving in and out and to keep our suspension from articulating like that. We were thinking of doing an articulating rear suspension, but we're gonna skip it for, for this time. It's gonna overcomplicate things. We wouldn't be able to make it work with a chain. Uh, we might be able to make it work with like a, uh, some V-belts and some lawnmower pulleys, but we could smoke the belt and they don't like water. So it, we're just skipping it. We're just gonna go with a static uh, like non-articulating rear suspension. One of the reasons our trailing arms are so tucked in like that is so like in the future, if we ever want to put hydraulics or even bags on this thing, we can slam it. We can slam it. Look at all that suspension travel. We can go that high and then all the way to the ground. We don't even know how square this is. It, a welding table would be awesome right now. Yeah, it would. Because we could uh, weld these bars on straight. Yeah. They're probably going to be crooked. Six inches there. Six and a quarter there. I don't know why we... <laughs> I don't know what. Yeah, you're off. We just assembled the live axle kit from Go Power Sports. Ike is just tightening down the locking collars, comes with all the bearings, hardware, hangers, everything you need. Um, then we also have a sprocket here. And once we run a chain, we can figure out where we want to put um, the other cross brace. So once we do that, we can put our coilovers on, then the rear tires, and then the rear suspension will be done. Noise. <laughs> That's insane. Well, you know, it's going to be wherever we... Yeah, I mean, it's going to cush down a little bit once yeah. we sit on That's it. That's probably about where it's going to be on the back. Um, chain time. We didn't figure on tightening or loosening the chain. Oh. <laughs> That's not going to fly, dude. Well, low speeds, actually. But we can put a tensioner on it. We can. Yeah, I'm right on that cross member we could. Ready? Yeah, bud. Down. Yep. Let's just get this thing going. Yeah, I'm thinking we're not gonna need a cross brace. Well we can test it. We can test it like this and we can try to three-leg it, and if it tries to articulate, which we don't want, we can add a cross brace and other stuff, but for now, it's fine. Sounds good. So we're doing test fit with the body to see where we want to mount the shocks for ride height. Got a drag truck now, dude. Okay. Does it look a little bit better? Yeah, see, I, I knew it would look a little better if we, if we leveled it. You know, um, I don't think it's, 
But I, I, I think we need to come forward. Probably the the uh, space of the uh, if I put that rear bolt to the front bolt of the pivot or of the uh, pillow block. Yeah. I think that would probably move it forward. You know, just enough. Yeah, so. that'll put it right behind this first axle. I think. Yeah. And I think that would be fine. And I love that this is still the fifty dollar go kart. <laughs> <laughs> eyeballing it this is about five inches too far back oh that's that's getting close to five inches right there so yeah i think if we uh unbolt this and this hole will actually go to the front bolt and i'll just have to redrill a hole i think that's all we're gonna need sounds good All right, so roll it forwards. Oh yeah, that's right. We're gonna. Yeah, we're gonna re. I'm gonna just boop. We're actually gonna re-drill these holes and carry on in the morning. Uh, it's getting late, so we'll see y'all tomorrow morning. Good afternoon, guys. We have spent the whole morning getting our stuff in order for this hurricane. We're gonna get as much as we can done here, but it's supposed to be a Category Four. It's supposed to wipe a lot of stuff out, so. It, it's kind of hard to, to really focus on a go-kart when uh when it's not going to be here next week well, yeah when this building is going to be oh god to be honest with you there's a voluntary evacuation of the county so i'm uh going to be hightailing out of here in a couple chicken. hours <laughs> yeah so here come all the chicken comments but uh you know my family wants to get out of here anyway we're going to leave a camera with ike and he'll probably have some kind of video update about uh the hurricane or the storm or whatever ends up happening um, but we're gonna, we're just gonna kind of truck away for an hour or two here on this go-kart and then probably call it a day. Probably gonna go somewhere around here. Yeah, probably right. Which will probably be a good mount for the, uh, shock. Tank tension or something? Shock. Or the shock. Ooh, I got both of mine in. Lucky. Oh, got mine in too. Would you look at that? All right. All right. All right, that's better. The wheel's still a little farther behind, but man, I'm totally down with that because it's going to be so high up, it's going to want to wheelie. Yeah. So we have those shocks, coilover shocks from gopowersports.com. You can check them out at our link in the description. Uh, they have all kinds of shocks and springs for your custom build or replacement part. She's going to send it. She's Boom, large looks, and in charge, dude. That looks dude. good right there. So we're just going to start by tacking our coilover brackets in place. They're gussets. All from gopowersports.com. Hit it, dude. Oh, she's all tacked up? Yeah. We can put weight on it? Yeah. Should we take the body off? Nah! Dude, it does have travel. Oh, look at that! Oh, it's it's uh, it's already bottomed out, dude. Yeah, but it actually almost didn't. Yeah, well, the nice thing is we can stiffen those shocks. Look at that! That's actually awesome, dude. Yeah. Look at that. We'll just uh, make them a bit more adjustable. What we got to do is we kind of, we have to stand them up. Higher. More straight. Yeah. With them forward like that, it's causing it, I mean, look at that. Oh yeah, it's going to be bouncy, dude. Uh, all right, well, trial and error. Yeah, that's for sure. So because of the imminent Category 4 hurricane, Florence coming into town, uh, we're calling this video here because we have some stuff to prepare. Still got to set up the generator. The chickens have to, we have to do something with those chickens because I don't want them to get blown away. Got a clear space for the Miata in here and I got to fuel up and I got to get out of town. <laughs> I tried I tried to convince Ike to get out of town, but like, I mean, he's Ike. Of course, he's not going to go. 
Yeah, but thanks for watching this video, guys. Leave us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. I know it was a little shorter than usual, but we got the rear suspension done. Uh, Semi done. It's tacked. Yeah, um, subscribe to the channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram for sneak peeks on what we are up to at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Go Power Sports CC10 for 10% off most orders. The monster truck go-kart has a lot of potential, um, but we're gonna be working on it after this hurricane. See y'all next time. So I was kinda right, the video was a little shorter than usual, but we had a good reason. Uh, we had to prepare for a hurricane, and this is after the fact, like a week has gone by and we are both safe. Uh, you saw Friday in Ike's bonus video, that part of his house got flooded. Yes, and uh, I'm gonna be okay. I, we noticed in the comments that y'all wanted us to set up a GoFundMe page because y'all wanted to help me out. Thank you. Uh, there are people out there that are far more deserving. John knows somebody. Why don't you take it from here, bud? Sure, so there's a, there's a carryout restaurant that's kind of close by to us, uh, Carryout by Crystalline, and they have been serving meals through the hurricane and after the, after the hurricane. They've been giving away meals uh, to first responders, EMTs, police officers, uh, and people who don't ac have access to clean water and food who are still stranded even a week after the fact. They have been preparing and delivering hot meals for people in rural communities that the Red Cross and Salvation Army cannot get to. This is seriously a grassroots effort, guys. I know the owner personally, she's amazing, and it's really as simple is that she saw people in need and she saw how she could help them out. Uh, they've given away 70, uh, 7,500 meals already, but there is still a need, and like I said, this is grassroots. There are no committees. Uh, the CEO doesn't get paid $6 million a year. No, this is like a lady who just opened a store two years ago and she's just trying to help people out. So if you wanna check out our GoFundMe, donations are seriously appreciated. Check it out at our link in the description. Carry out by Chrysalin. All right, so anyway, next time we are back to business as usual. Uh, we are doing front suspension on the lifted go-kart. Thanks for watching, we'll see you then.